and welcome to our first Government Documents virtual tour. Keep an eye out for upcoming videos about the unique materials in the Government Documents collection. If you didn't know about this collection at Burton Bar Central Library, you are in for a treat. In this video, you'll get a peek at the Presidential Papers collection. We have been a depository library since 1917. The purpose of the Federal Depository Library Program is to ensure that the American public has access to government information that is of public interest or has educational value. Public access to the government documents collection is guaranteed by public law. The library is committed to making government materials accessible in a variety of formats. We select approximately 25% of federal documents, many now in electronic format, to include in our collection. In the front section of the government documents area, you'll find the Presidential Papers Collection. What are Presidential Papers? They are documents that include writings, addresses, and remarks of the Presidents of the United States. Before 1957, Papers of the Presidents were compiled and published by private organizations. Noting the lack of uniform compilations, the National Historical Publications Commission recommended the establishment of an official series. In response to the recommendation, the public papers of the Presidents began in 1957. They are compiled and published by the Office of the Federal Register, National Archives, and Records Administration. The series began with President Herbert Hoover and is published approximately twice per year. The material is presented in chronological order and the dates shown in the headings are the dates of the documents or events. To ensure accuracy, remarks have been checked against the tape recording and signed documents have been checked against the original. Only communications that were issued by the Office of the Press Secretary are contained in the series. Presidential tweets are not included for this reason. And finally, this collection includes additional presidential documents such as these books. Thanks for joining us on this virtual tour of the Government Documents Collection. We hope you enjoy exploring the presidential papers. <music>